Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I'm going to start figuring out how to attach the drums to my big dodecahedron. Barb Makes Things! One of the things I like about making my own weird contraptions is the puzzle solving aspect to it. Like I have two pieces that need to attach together and I have to find the interlocking thing. Sometimes it's simple like putting a box together and there are many ways of doing it but I've done a lot of boxes. This is a new challenge. If you remember when I was first trying to make the dodecahedron frame, I wound up with subpar results. I also wound up with one assembled face that wouldn't work for the final project, but it'll be perfect for testing out mounting solutions. One of my ideas of how to mount this to the frame is to use threaded rods. Drill into a piece that attaches to the frame because the frame isn't thick enough on its own. Drill through the drum shell and then bolt them together. Uh, this I feel like might be the best bet, but also is kind of the riskiest to try because it means I have to um, drill holes in my nice shells with my nice wood. Yeah, so I think I am going to actually try and risk it and see how it goes. I also hung on to the leftover pieces of lumber when I made the frame, so I just happened to have exactly the right chunks to use inside the frame pieces. Well, almost exactly right. I needed to adjust some of the other faces, which I did on the chop saw. I got pronged T-nuts, which are internally threaded things that you can hammer into a pre-drilled hole and then screw in a bolt. So I pre-drilled holes. This is a really wonky shape to try to clamp. So vice. But then hammering in the vise didn't go so well. So I'll use the table for that part. In the last Fails video, there was a spot where I showed an instance of blowout. When you don't put something behind a piece of wood, you drill through, the opposite side gets just all kinds of messy. I don't want to do that to my nice frame. Just cut a few scrap pieces, then I'm gonna clamp on the back side of it. Plus, make sure that my hole goes in straight. I drilled this little block uh, on a drill press so that the hole goes right through, so this is gonna make sure that everything goes straight in. I found the centers of each side of the drum shell by drawing lines from the corners and then clamped up my guide block and sacrificial wood on the opposite side. Then I drilled holes in my lovely drum shell. I attached the blocks and bolts to the drum shell first and then figured out exactly where they needed to go on the frame. On the finished version, I'll glue these blocks in. I don't want something interrupting the surface of my nice dodecahedron, but screws are fine for the experiment. This is quicker and I can remove the blocks if I need to. A problem that I'm seeing with this method is that it's not going to be easy to get everything properly lined up when I attach another drum shell to an adjacent side, because the blocks and T-nuts and holes have to be in just the right spot to fit. That's five points that have to be exact on a frame that is close but not like machine measured perfect. I'm feeling like I can find a better solution for putting these puzzle pieces together. So this wasn't a failure, it was an experiment and a learning experience. I'm thinking for the next attempt, two bolts on only one side of the drum shell. Five I think is overkill and I can be much more precise about the measurement of just two points. I also want to try to attach to the rim part because I need to redesign this anyway so I can make it to accommodate that. So next time I'll experiment with some of these things. If you liked this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how-tos. There are a lot of them. 
Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.